can be only one podcast, and may it be the princes of the universe. Hi, folks, I'm Matt. And I'm Wes. Hey. Chum. Hey, 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 old chum. Back for season three of uh, El Super Friends. And it's amazing to me how many times this series changed. Rebrands it. Rebrand, yeah, they rebranded Re-branded. itself. And this is probably the most famous incarnation, would you say? I would say for, for comic friends? book fans, this is the one that they'll say, they'll hang their hat on and say, "I can." This yeah. is this is the one I enjoyed the most. Yeah, and I think that's for everyone. Now, this is of course we're talking about the Legion of Doom. They are they get introduced in the very first episode. They live in a swamp. Why not? Um, they have a big Darth Vader head. Really, that you thought in. that looked like Darth Vader? It, it's it's a cheap rip off of Darth Vader. Oh, you're being sarcastic. Yes, I'm thinking how yeah. George Lucas did not stomp <laughs> this idea into the ground. It, it, it is easily a Darth Vader head, and uh, just drawn a little bit differently because because hey, Star Wars is big, ladies and gentlemen. We gotta do Star Wars. Even Star more. Wars was bigger than big, <clears throat> bigger than big, and it's a great idea though because we have. Uh, Justice League, what was Super Friends, and now we have a Legion of Doom. And we're taking all of the villains from famous, uh, well, all their nemesises, except for Hawkman. He does not have one nemesis in the Legion of Doom. I didn't know that until I kind of did a deep dive to look up to see. Because there are a few people like Gorilla Grog. I didn't know who he was really. I didn't know if he was a Green Lantern bad guy. He's a Flash bad guy. I didn't know that. Um, but Gorilla, Gorilla Grog, and then there's Captain Freeze, which is also a Flash villain. There's Sinestro, which is the Green Lanterns. You have Giganta, who is the only one made up for Apache Chief. Because Apache Chief, Samurai, Samurai, and uh, Black Vulcan are definitely in this one full-time now. They're not just guest star appearances like they were. They're full-time, in, full-fledged heroes. And to be honest, the, really, the two they focus on the most is Black Vulcan and Apache Chief. Samurai gets like one episode to shine, and then he's kind of in the background. They just, I mean, seriously, like he's just, I'll go with Wonder Woman, and then you don't hear from him, and then he gets captured. He's frozen for half the hep- episode, because I guess they didn't know what to do with him. I don't know. A pa- a pa- but growing up, I remember, I remember Apache Chief, because I think he was in the title scroll, wasn't he? Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, going up mm-hmm. against Giganta. Uh, ba- Superman had Brainiac, Toy Man, Bizarro and Lex Luthor, and uh, of course Wonder Woman had Cheetah, um, not the WW eighty four Cheetah, not Kristen no, Wiig, no. although she is was spectacular looking in that movie. There you go. Thank you for that. Okay, I loved her style. <laughs> if they made that jacket in a extra large, I'd wear it. There you go. Good. Glad to hear that. Um, and then, of course, Batman had Riddler, Solomon Grundy, Scarecrow. And that was it, right? Yeah. And I think that rounds up all of... No, no, Manta. Black Manta was Aquaman's nemesis. Not to be confused with Tan Manta. Tan Manta was... I don't know what he was. So Lex Luthor forms them all together, and he goes, Yeah, now that the Super Friends are banded together, we have to form, band together. We need to be the Legion of Doom. So they all decided. So then it's every episode, obviously, one person from the Legion of Doom gives their idea of how to take it's on the Super Friends. It's a big round friends. table. It's very democratic. Now, the biggest question to everyone now was why wasn't Joker in it? Uh, I think my biggest question is why Solomon Grundy <laughs> was not featured more in I'm every episode. Because Solomon Grundy says we got to destroy them Grundy, super friends. You don't lo- if you don't love Solomon Grundy, you're born on a Monday. Yeah, for sure. That's Solomon Grundy. Oh boy, some do, good one-liners. Do you know there is? He <laughs> he does have some. Do you know there is a live? Remember the live-action Adam West, Burt Ward, Batman? Mm-hmm. Do you know in the seventies they brought it back? For one episode, um, or two episodes, really, but one special. It was a it was a superhero afternoon special, and it had Shazam, Green Lantern, Flash, yeah, and then Adam West and Burt Ward came back and reprised the roles. One of the villains is a live action Solomon Grundy. 
Well, that'll be the dope. only person to ever play a live action Solomon Grundy so far. Um, <clears throat> and it's just a tall guy painted all white, of course, like Lurch. And that's exactly what he is. He's he's uh, washing, I think, the Batmobile, and then Batman calls, but he's dressed up as a gas attendant. But he's in all white. It's obviously Solomon Grundy just wearing a hat of a gas attendant. And, of course, Adam West, in, in co- great comedic fashion, says, Old chum, look at that man. Uh, he looks familiar, doesn't he? He's like, Holy gas stop, Batman, or, you know, whatever. That's Solomon Grundy. Yes, old chum, but he thinks he's in disguise. Let's play along and see where this goes. I'm like, this is great. This is great. Um, so I guess Solomon Grundy was the theme back then, maybe. Maybe that's why they thought he was a... He resonated with me for all these years. Oh, man. But I remember talking to the artist. I got to meet the artist. This is something I haven't mentioned yet. I got to meet the artist at a Comic-Con. I loved the cartoon as a kid. I told him so. I, he signed a. I'm sure know, everybody else told him in line too. Waller. Oh no, it I know. Make you well, he well he drew he drew other things too. Oh, he drew okay. other car- cartoons from the 80s. But I, I like the Super Friends. So that's the poster I got him to sign for me. I, I, I can't find that poster right now, but I know I have it. It's hard to believe. I, anyway, uh, but I, I he said he told me he said well you know everyone asked why wasn't Joker in it. Well, I didn't care. I was like, oh, no, I was happy with what it was. He was like, the reason was is because they had Toy Man, and they thought Joker would be too much like Toy Man because Joker has toys too. So to keep it a little bit different, they put the Riddler in because Riddler's puzzles. And that's a nice, you know, cliche to kind of run with. Sure. Super Friends made me a Riddler fan. Riddler is my favorite Batman villain. Mm. And I always thought as a kid that was Batman's arch nemesis because he was in the Super Friends. Now, I knew Scarecrow was a villain and Solomon Grundy was a villain, but they weren't featured as much as Riddler was. If you know, in, in some of these episodes, you remember, Riddler was always there to live a riddle for the next clue or lead sure. the... He, and with my riddles, I'll lead the Super Friends on a wild goose chase, you know, while you go ahead and do your thing. So Rid- Riddler was more prominent of all the Batman villains. So I just assumed that is Batman's arch nemesis, right? Brains versus brains. It made sense. And uh, so for years, I just thought that was his that was his number one. I was, you know, later on, of course, I learned it was Joker. But I'm still a Riddler fan because of it. And it was this cartoon that made me a Riddler fan. What do you obviously you wanted you, you got something to say about the Legion of Doom? I, I just thought that the 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 concept of finally bringing characters from comics yes that actually posed a threat that was somewhat of a compelling storyline versus this over the top. Yes. Storyline, which is kind of like a Marvel movie versus a DC movie. Not to, I'm not bagging on that, but I'm DC movies. The good ones are a little more streamlined <laughs> with villains versus the Avengers that are fighting off a villain. But there's also some kind of alien situation in there, and I, that just gets old after well, a while. Yeah, and to your point, you can only deal with so many. I mean, seriously, 1977 was the year of the alien. Um, but the thing is, though, now they can deal with people of equal... They can go toe-to-toe with the super friends. These sure. They have superpowers, and they are their arch nemesis. Sure. So when Lex Luthor comes up with a plan to turn the world into biz- bizarros and cheetahs, which is one idea they had, or, you know, Gorilla Grog says, hey, let's take over Gorilla City. Correct. Because they have a big power weapon we can use to take on the super I like friends. that episode. I don't know why, but I was one Do you of my remember favorites. The, really? Yes. Gorilla City. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Gorilla Grog. I like that episode. I never liked Gorilla Grog. I thought Captain Cold was cool. That outfit left a lot to be desired. Well, you know, Jack Frost wants his i you know identity back, but you know he's it's, he's got the little hoodie on and the yeah. the glasses. I think that's kind of how he looked though in the comic book at the time. No, right? I'm not, yeah, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying he didn't uh, speak to me. No, but I mean, I just thought I just thought you know he's he's a freeze guy and Flash is fast. Sure, yeah, I don't it know makes sense. That, but oh, and by the way, Flash was probably my second favorite uh, superhero at that time. I really thought the Flash was cool. Did you have a favorite super fan? Hmm. Now that I'm thinking about it. I would probably say Batman. 
Well, I mean, yeah, I love Batman too. But I wouldn't Always say any of the other ones stuck. Green Lantern. I think Green Lantern, because like we talked about, we referenced on a prior episode from a prior week, uh, when Green Lantern is in some diamond mind and he has this incredible power. Does nothing with and it. And he says, Aquaman, help me out. Help me. Yeah. So, but I like Green Lantern. No, Green Green Lantern's good. They would and they would split. This was and, and by the way, this is also when they went to thirty minutes now, a yeah, thirty minute episode. So twenty one, twenty two minutes. Include somebody. In yeah, they're off. they're fine tuning these episodes now, and now less is more. That's exactly right. Which people are probably saying about this podcast. <laughs> less is more. But they're dividing up into two different episodes. One is just the super fan. It's your generic throwaway adventure. And then it's versus the Legion of Doom. Now, you got to sit here and watch it in one you know, sitting. But now it's not super long. Each episode's about 11, 12 minutes long. Oh, then what, call back to what we, we said. They streamlined. They changed it. What's the name of this season? Oh, the name of the season? Challenge. It's Challenge of the Super Friends now. So yes. now we got something. And and I, I should also mention now that you say that Challenge of the Super Friends also has uh, gr- a great uh, scene at the end where the Super Friends are all running in one direction, the Legion of Doom is running in the opposite direction, like straight toward them, and then they're about to collide together, and then boom, the Challenge of the Super Friends, and that that grabs your attention as a kid, right? Right. Like, oh, this, oh my gosh, gonna this happen. is going to it's it's going down. These guys do. These you guys know, are bad, not because they smoke. They this just is, fight. This is the Royal Rumble. Everyone's coming out. Everyone's coming out. Another call-out that we haven't mentioned in the prior weeks is the music in Super Friends is very resonating to me. Like It's still playing in my mind right yeah. now. Like when something's going on and the music that plays behind that is... Uh, and they use a lot of that through all of it. Like The they, trumpet. Yeah, oh yeah. You know, like, kind of like Wonder Woman's hairdo. They just hold on to that. <laughs> It's not going to evolve. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the Legion of Doom comes up with some crazy stuff. There's a, uh, the, the, I, the whatever, the, the, they get led somewhere in a swamp that they didn't even know this part of the swamp existed. And they find this evil being who's super evil. We want the power of evil. How can you give us the power? Give me the super friends. I'll give you the power of evil. Yay! We'll get sure, the super yeah. friends. We'll get the power of evil. Oh, we can't. And they're, the whole time they're going, then we will have the power of evil. What, what's the power of evil? I don't know. It, it must be good Stay if tuned. we really want it. So what? Stay tuned. Okay, yeah. Well, then they, they he captures the super friends, and he gives them the power of evil. So now they're super powerful, even though they don't change. I thought they were going to morph into like these creatures. They don't. They just feel super powerful. Scarecrow feels super powerful because now he's more evil than ever before. They know how to be ev- more evil, I guess. Well, they're so evil that they turn against this, you know, evil being. Correct. Because why not? Double. Well, then he's mad. So you've broken the law. So then he frees the super friends. Because absolute power corrupts. Corrupts absolutely. absolutely. There you go. Somebody taught us that many years. I don't ago. know who, but yes. And and with with great cartoons comes great responsibility. And I've, these people. Yeah, didn't didn't live up to it. No, they didn't. They never played child support on this. But you taught <laughs> no responsibility. But, no, they did not. But you talk about scary episodes. There's another episode, and I want to ask if you remember this: Dracula versus the Super Friends. Hey, now you may remember this when you hear what happens. Dra- so Dracula arises from Transylvania, starts turning everyone into vampires just by shooting. Lasers from his eyes. That makes sense. That's yeah. Why not? I mean, you can't bite people. No in cartoons. Oh but, yeah, I guess so. But and you can shoot faster. lasers. You can shoot lasers through their eyes, hypnotize them. But it's not hypnotizing them because their eye li- their eyes go dark. You know, they get the vampire you know, slit eyes. They have the dark circles around their eyes like Dracula does now. Right. And then they have the fang teeth that just kind of uh, magically appear when they get shot in the eye. So everyone's turning to vampires. So. And by the way, this is every every episode. Someone's getting, someone's turning everyone into monsters. Uh, if you remember, uh, uh, Wonder Woman becomes a, a like a big caveman monster for a while and starts bashing everything. The Wonder Trends go to help, and they get turned into monsters too and walk around. Or 
Superman gets turned into a squid alien. Oh no! Well, then the Wonder Twins go to help, and no, they get turned into squid aliens. So the rest, twins. they get into every every problem. So Superman goes to become it to get to take on Dracula. Well, Dracula shoots him in the eyes. So now you got this gray, black and gray. His suit turns black and gray. He's got uh, Superman's got fangs now. He's a monster. He's got these blackened eyes, red. Do you remember this? Yes, now? I do. Very okay. good episode. And I was like, "Oh my gosh!" That's as a kid. I, I don't know how like I we led lunch. into this like with the dumb rays and like this is silly. But then yeah. we get to this part, you're like, but, "Oh, here's the hook." But the thing is that yeah, he gets Superman, and now you see vampire Superman. You're like, "Oh no." Like that's it. That's now we got something. To go as with. a kid, you're thinking that's the end of Superman. Of course, the Wonder Twins try to help, and they get turned into vampires, so they don't help at all. And so, with Superman's great speed and flight, he's turning, he's z- zapping everyone as a uh, vampire. And I can't remember how they stop him. Oh no, no, no! Somehow they they stop him. They break. Oh no, Batman! Batman comes up with a cure because he's Batman, right? So Batman has a cure that they release on them to stop them, and this is happens a lot. There's another episode way. Is it a form of two shots? No, <laughs> no, oh, no, okay. no. Um, but there, the, there is a 99.7 percent chance that they're going to get it. Mm. Um, no one died from it. Uh, everyone recovered. Even Dracula said he was sorry at the end. I think I don't know, but I mean, and, and Dracula was from Wuhan, China. That was weird in this episode. I thought that was weird. Um, so yeah, it does have a lot of similarities. I don't know. Anyway, uh, but so they turn everyone back. But Batman needs to, you know, they need to get Dracula. So Batman goes, "I'm going to go undercover as, you know, Dracula, Bat Superman again." So what I'll do with my heat vision is burn these clothes a little bit to go to the black and white or something, and then. And then Batman goes, and with a little bat makeup, we can get you back to where you were. So then, here comes Vampire Batman again. He's like, "Ah, oh, good, you've come back so soon. You've you've turned the world into vampires now. Not so fast, you know, Dracula." Come. And then he wipes off his mask, and he he comes out. He he's back to us. Okay, well, then what was the point of dressing up as Dracula, Batman? You just just to reveal, just to kind of. I just, want to see, I just want to see your face. You said, Jackie, you should have seen your face. You thought I, <laughs> you thought I was still a vampire. He's a master of things. But I'm telling you, I'm, well, yeah, he is. Uh, but then they fooled Dracula. Of course, they put him to sleep forever, you know, and turned the world back. I can't remember. I guess Batman just sprays everyone. It's a spray, not a, sh- a shot. <laughs> yeah, just like that. But I'll be honest, that one, that one was interesting. Um, Giganta has one where everyone turns into giants. She's going to help everyone turn into giants because now you can't fight the really giant Legion of Doom, you know. And, uh, or, you know, Legion of Doom is just charming. Now, we talked about Super Friends comic book, right? Mm-hmm. In the Super Friends comic book, the Legion of Doom never made an appearance. Mm. Do you know why? I don't. For some reason, the author, the writers, hated the Legion of Doom. They thought that was. They thought they hated that season, and they kept saying in the letter column, "We will never bring the Legion of Doom into this." And I'm thinking, what's wrong with the Legion of Doom? Maybe they were worried about continuity, because at that time, comics had some. Do you think people would have taken it? Do you think people would have taken those adventures seriously? Like, oh, oh, so the superheroes did team sure, up against yeah, them. Yeah, I think that. It, I think they that didn't. They couldn't. Super Friends was right up there with Batman, Superman comics at the time. Well, like you said, your your initial lead into DC Comics is based off of this cartoon. So That's true. Your knowledge is what you took into comic books rather than your comic book knowledge took you into this cartoon. Right. So I'm sure to I, a certain I, degree, I, DC Comics, I think, has always held itself used to, I believe, definitely. They yeah. were in a... Uh, they had a different way of doing business. That's why Marvel was so different. It was a different time. It was a different time. Simpler time. True, true. And comic books were... Now, actually, what, what year is this? 78? So that would have been the... Uh, was 78 the DC implosion? Where they suddenly just dropped 26 titles because they couldn't... Uh, I think... Or 79. I don't know. I don't know. Sometime in the late 70s, comic books took a drop for everyone. This is another Heath Fudge question. Oh, oh really? Yeah. See a big... Uh, he loves DC. Comic book. Oh, 
loves DC. Do they ever make a Linda Carter DC comp? Uh, Would I want to know? There, he is has it CG seed. Okay. <laughs> does, does With a certain amount of authenticity, no one wants to know about. Okay, so that's why Brandon hangs out with him. To uh, I think Brandon leads credence to something else. So anyway, Glee. one of my favorite. Oh, go ahead. Uh, yeah, one of episodes, your favorites. Yeah. Um, Anything that had Solomon Grundy with a lot of verbiage, even if it said Solomon <laughs> Grundy going to crush Batman. Yeah. I mean, that was yes. good enough for me. Yeah. Uh, there was an episode you talked about, The Vampires. Mm-hmm. I don't know if it was this. It could have been. I was know. the, uh, they made a Frankenstein monster of all the super friends, and Robin was the only one that they didn't use, and Robin had to fight this super friends Frankenstein. That is season four. See, there we go. That is season four, this and is I remember that one. The shark. I remember that's fine. I remember that too. I yeah. remember that too. And there's certain, there's obviously cer- a, a borrow from the the Dracula episode. Obviously worked enough for them to yeah. go, hey, if it worked here, we're doing this. Yeah, I, I remember uh, some of these episodes for Legion of Doom because as a kid, this is this is how good my mem- my how fond I should say my memories are of Super Friends. One of the episodes in particular, I realized immediately what it was because my mom would make Chex Mix. Old school mom making Chex Mix. This is back before you could buy it in a bag. You know, it was on the back of a Chex box and say, hey, make your own Chex Mix, you know. So mom would. It was really good. And we got to we got to eat a little cup of it while we watched Super Friends. And well, I remember. This is a simpler time story already. This is a simpler time story already, but I remember eating. And you know, the best time to eat Chex Mix is when it's hot, when it's warm, it's straight out of the oven. I mean, it's still kind of sticky with all the seasoning and stuff, and it's just, it tastes great. It tastes great. And I remember my mom just coming out with a fresh batch of Chex Mix right as Super Friends was coming on, and so I had a nice, warm bowl of Chex Mix, and I'm sitting there watching, and I remember the episode when it came on, because it was the one where Wonder Woman becomes this big monster, and the Wonder Twins become a big monster too, because they're no help. And then they, the rest of the Super Friends have to come to the rescue. But I remember just eating the checks and going, "This is great." And seeing that episode again, I was like, "Should you I taste pause the checks?" I I could. I was like, "Should I go get checks mix for this episode?" But it wouldn't be warm. What's funny you say? I had to get my mom to bake some and rewatch the episode. When I watch Super Friends, mm. Challenge of the Super Friends, Challenge of excuse me, Challenge of the Super Friends. I'm 43. You're 43. Okay. So I was born in 77. You were born in 78. 77. Okay. No, I was 77. Okay. I didn't know. Okay. We're the same year. All right. So I thought I was a year older for some reason. Anyway, mm-hmm. this is going nowhere. I was born in May. I, you know, we, we grew up more on this because this is what was coming on CBS in yes. 1979, 1980. Every afternoon. Cartoons. No, I'm, I'm, I'm talking more Saturday afternoon. Or not oh, Saturday, oh Saturday, morning. Saturday mornings. Gotcha. Uh, I can remember eating pancakes. Always having pancakes on Saturday really? morning and watching cartoons. So when I see old cartoons of that time, I think about eating pancakes. And because, obviously, I don't know if it's because I went to bed the night before or whatever, <laughs> but my hands would get so sticky from fighting through these pancakes. Uh, and I would have just, you know... I was not, you know, a well kept man the way I'm now. But that's your parents made you pancakes. My mom did. Yep. It was a bowl of cereal for us, and shut up, sit in front of the TV. We well, never had pancakes. You know, she tapered off at the end. Don't worry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you you got the better end of the stick, I'm sure. My therapist would tell you the same thing. My 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 Saturday about eight o'clock because we woke up at six for, you know, things. So oh, yeah. Pro- May- Six o'clock. Hold on, let me jump you in. No, here go since ahead. You cut me off a couple times. Uh, it is your it's show. It's fair. It's fair. Go ahead. Rocky and Bullwinkle was how we started Saturday morning. Me too. There Six in the morning. There you go. That's how you started your Saturday morning. And, sure. And I I wasn't a big fan of Rocky Bullwinkle, but it was cartoons. I liked Rocky and Bullwinkle. I mean, they were fine, but they that, that was just like the primer. And then seven o'clock is when it got serious, in my opinion. That music you can hear it in my head right now. Oh yeah. Is that the bum bum ba bum bum? Is that it? Nope. Nope. Oh, never mind then. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Oh. <laughs> this is a bizarro version of my my childhood. Okay, do you mean to put your my my childhood from watching Saturday morning cartoons is having a bowl of uh, sugar. I mean cereal. 
putting pouring so much sugar on it that when you scrape that bottom, you're like a gold miner shifting through that milk to get that nice gray clump of sugar and stick it in your mouth. Uh, Yuck. So, okay, I'm sorry, Mr. Pancake. Yeah, I'd rather have pancake syrup all you over did my have elbows. Pancakes. You pretend you're Spider-Man climbing up the walls with your uh, syrupy hands? Yeah, it was a real blank <laughs> show. I, mean, I know this is PG. <laughs> you're going to hit the cough button if I say anything four letters. <laughs> Uh, this is also the season where they showed the origin of some of the Super Friends. That was an episode that I Green remember. Lantern. Green Lantern. Yes. Lantern's yes, they origin. did. Yeah. They showed Green Lantern's origin, Superman's origin, of course. Blah. Oh, my gosh. Who was the third one? There were three of them because the, the Legion of Doom decided to go back in time. Oh, sure. Wonder Woman's. Wonder, Wonder Woman's. Because Chitara comes back and she cheats to beat Wonder Woman at the games, and she becomes Wonder Woman. And then, I can't remember how Superman, they shoot Superman's little escape pod out into space, so he doesn't land on Earth. Not he a lands fan on of a, Superman. I'm not either. I don't like Superman. So he lands on a, a planet with a red sun, and he becomes just a normal person. And then how they got rid of Green Lantern is the best. Lex Luthor goes, Hal Jordan, Hal Jordan, hop out. Hop out of that little test pilot that gets out of the test cockpit. And then Lex gets in and goes, ha, ha, ha. And then Lex gets taken away to the alien, dying on the ship and Correct. handing him the lantern. And so Lex becomes Lex Luthor. So what do they do with the power of the Green Lantern? He just chucks it because now there is no Green Lantern. We don't need that Green Lantern thing. We just wanted the most powerful Super Friends out of the way. So now we can take over the Super Friends without Wonder Woman, Green Lantern, or Superman. Well, then the Justice League computer somehow... Oh, no, no. They get the files from the Legion of Doom and find out there are these three superheroes they never heard of before. So somehow, I can't remember how, but the Super Friends go back in time and stop the Legion of Doom from going back in time stop the super it seems like a long episode it was only 12 minutes but it felt like a little long it was a little repetitive it was a little crazy but you know i've heard that at least before at least <laughs> just not 12 minutes at, at, at least. <laughs> i remember my apache chief joke i had that in that was about it that's all shot everything out but anyway i'm telling you <laughs> that Apache Chief joke from weeks ago was. I'm telling you, so good. I'm telling. That's that's the only one I had in the chamber. Should have saved it. But uh, yeah, then they started doing later on. That this and these are some episodes I do not remember because maybe they just didn't air the repeats as much. But there's one I want to ask you if you remember this. It starts off with the Super Friends at a funeral, Batman's funeral. And that's how it kind of begins. And then it goes back a few weeks ago to where the Legion of Doom had this some kind of super weapon that could just had everyone's weakness in it, could kill everyone. Hmm. And so they killed Batman. And it says, Here lies Batman. He died November twenty fifth, nineteen seventy eight. And says that on the on the tomb there, tombstone, because it was seventy eight when the series came out. And so all the rest of the super friends are hiding in a cave. I know in the last season there's or maybe the last or next to last season. There's an episode about that about Superman dying. Really? Yeah. There's a Superman death episode. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So, that that's interesting. When you get to that, you know, <clears> when I get when I get that one farther, but they we'll have a callback. Yeah, they have another one where the world is, is a vampire. Gone? No, no. The world didn't turn into vampires this time, but the world is gone. It's it's basically been destroyed. It's like just desolate. And everything's, you know, everything's, it's like a post-apocalypse, and there's no one living on the planet Earth, so these aliens come to visit. This is kind of wild storytelling here, but these aliens come to visit, and they're like, what happened to this planet? I don't know. Well, then, of course, they land conveniently next to the Hall of Justice, so they go in there, and they it's ask... It's all dilapidated. Yeah, it's all dilapidated, and then they ask the Hall of Justice, hey, what happened? And then it takes you back to the adventure. Yeah. And that's how it kind of starts off. So a little bit of effort in storytelling. Epic These storytelling. are by far... Leagues better than anything we've seen before. That is true. I don't know who the creative 
people were in play at this point, but they got somebody on board. Story. They said, hey, guys, let, let me show you how storytelling should be told. No, we're not going an hour long. We're going 30 minutes, and that's not one episode for 30 minutes. That's two episodes for 30 minutes because we need to keep it tight. We need to punch up the action and keep their attention span, which is shrinking like this and this and that. They if were you remember, putting 10 pounds of shit in a five-pound bag. That's... I'm telling you, as they were. As far as five pounds but, and a ten pound bag. Oh, they they definitely were. And if if you recall back in the um, season one, they were talking about Einstein's theory of relativity. Do you remember this and talking about how things work and you know all this scientific stuff? Man, I guess kids were really smart back then. But flash forward to '78, they're like, no, bam, boom, bang. Peanut butter and jelly make a sandwich, kids. That's about. Yeah, as I think high I just think that there's a creative side of that. This series that I'm sure there's many podcasts out there that have dealt with this already, but no, there's definitely big difference between yeah. seasons one and three. Giant. Mm hmm So. Yeah. But it turns out that the Legion of Doom shoots a ray into the sun that makes the sun go nuts and then destroys the Earth. So after they see this, they decide to give humanity a second chance. They rewind time. But then the super, Always the rewinding of the time. The rewinding of the time. I'm telling you what. They got to go back that, in time. It's not working. They got, well, they got in their spaceship. They traveled 88 miles per hour and um, were able to go back in time, back to the future, I guess. Got it. And, uh, but anyway, the, what happens is the, the superheroes don't stop them again and they destroy the Earth again. I'm like, wait, what? I thought this is how it was going to end. They're like, see, humans are one of the aliens. Like, see, I told you. You know whatever his name is, Ram Ram Ramadan, whatever the these people these humans will just want to destroy themselves. This is a peace episode. They say, well, all right, we'll interfere just this once. So they knock the beam off or whatever. They disable the Legion of Doom. Oh, that's another thing. Every time is this the butterfly effect? I don't know. Uh, maybe okay. I don't know. But the thing is, the superheroes. What was that? Oh, an alien race came by and, came by and just stopped them. Thank you, alien race. Like you're not going to question what just happened. It's okay because we only have 30 seconds left. We can't really, you know, um, talk about what's going on. We can't really investigate this now. We got in this episode, but every time they capture the Legion of Doom, do you remember what happened? Either Lex Luthor or Brainiac. They would escape. Somehow yeah, they had or a, another. There they was had some a kind button of... that would transport them away or would turn off the lights and then they'd sneak away. I don't know. They'd be gone. Brainiac had something or Lex Luthor had something that, or Grog had something that was, you know, that would. Sure. They thought they had the Legion of Doom. Well, next time Not we'll so get quick. them. quick. Yeah. Because they're going to be back next time, which is what that kind of came a cliche now, where the villain gets away at the end to strike another day. Sure. Because if you don't do that, well, you don't That's have. If you watch after the credits. Exactly. 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 Well, there was no stinger after these credits, but oh, not in God. Super Friends. Too yeah. bad. Too bad they didn't bring up that. If they invented that, that'd have been awesome. But you know, we need someone to fight the Super Friends for every all sixteen episodes, so they can't be sure the Super Friends capture them. But then they escape. How? Let's see. Brainiac has a disappearing ray that makes them go back to their ship. Oh, good idea. Good idea. Yeah, they, Sinestro you know. has something. Yeah, the Sinestro has something, and they carries them all away, and then they're okay. They'll they'll fight tomorrow. You know that way we're saved for another episode. I don't mind that. I don't mind that. But that's right. it's nice they started that cliche. But overall, overall, we'll wrap it up here. Um, season three is obviously one of the best and most well known. In fact, this is the only season with the Legion of Doom. Did you know that? I did. I did not know that. With your I, trivia you're throwing out at me when I asked you to get me ready for these episodes <laughs> and you keep making me look like a buffoon. <laughs> no. Um no, I'm glad you're here. But I, I didn't know that I, again, my memory of this cartoon was the Legion of Doom was in it for the rest of the I th it, I think that lends itself to us watching it so young, which most kids watch cartoons young. Right. But this, if you delve into the research of it like we are doing over these weekly podcasts, there's there's gaps of time where nothing is produced. They rerun it, they rerun it, they rerun it. We watched it at a time where probably they were probably only rerunning this batch of Challenge of the Super Friends. I'm sure CBS only had the rights to this, some something legally, where that stayed in the rotation. And if we were watching cartoons in 1979, 1980, 1981, 1982, 
these are the majority of what we saw. So we exactly. crawl these multiple times. That's why yeah. I feel like Marvin and 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 all of that. I kind of discovered that later because I came on board with the Wonder Twins because I can remember my sister. I mean. When we got along, and she said she was super cis, and we did this Wonder Twin stuff back in you know simpler times. Oh, see, I didn't have a sister to be a Wonder Twin. Well, my my mom didn't make warm checks mix either, so you know we all <laughs> we all got opportunities here. <laughs> but I think that's why we are locked into this so much. Our age, nineteen seventy eight, yeah. when this came out, these reruns because I don't. Once we well, get to yeah. next week's episode, we'll know when season four actually debuts. But there's something about this that clings here. Yeah. No. Definitely. Definitely. So that it's it's Is that it's, a long answer. That's a long answer. No, it's a good answer. Oh, okay. That's a good answer. Well, you know what? We're going to end on that again. Excellent. You get the ending on that. So, folks, we'll see you next time on more Saturday. Oh, no, that's the wrong podcast. We've done so many weeks of these podcasts, we're getting tongue-tied here. We'll see you next time on Prince of the Universe.